Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going over the distillation tower from Immersive Petroleum. It's going to go daytime or nighttime. Here we go. Uh, we're going to start by going one, two, three, four with our steel scaffolding. One, two, three, four uh, down towards you. We're going to fill this in except for uh, these slots right here, which we're going to put a heavy engineering block like that. We're going to put in a fluid pipe. That's going to be our first layer. Our next layer, we're going to do two heavy engineering blocks. Fill in the center with steel, or not steel, but iron uh, sheet metal. Bring your pipe up like that. Then a redstone engineering block. Next layer, bring the pipe up one. Oh, we forgot our steel scaffolding on the back there, but we're going to bring that up too. We're going to do iron sheet. And then don't forget this little pipe right here. Uh, from here, we're just going to continue up. So we're going to bring our pipe up too our iron sheet up to, and then our scaffolding up to. We're going to leave that pipe there. So this should equal one, two, three, four. Next, we're going to get out our steel, scaf or steel sc scaffolding slabs. Put those down like that, and then we're going to repeat this process. So one, two, three, four. Keep doing this all the way to the top a few times. So once we've gotten that, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to show you all this just so we make sure we get it all right. Like that, break that. So far, you should have one, two, three layers. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four again. Bring this all the way up. Again, with the slabs all around, leave that open for your pipe. Now on this layer, it's going to be a bit different. So we've already got one, two, three, four. This one, we're going to go one, two, three, like so. And we're only going to bring the pipe up. We're not going to bring the scaffolding up all the way. Now, if we did everything right, hopefully uh, it paid off not doing a reference and just doing this off memory. We should click this block and there we go. We actually did it. So now, from here, we're going to check out the actual machine. I want a lever if we have one over here. We don't want it to run just yet. So, uh, like all immersive engineering machines, we can control it with redstone. I am going to do so. Uh, we're going to grab a chest. So, outputs uh, physical items here. So, I'm going to put a chest here. You'll see what it does in a minute. We're going to output fluids from this point. Anything with this little orange dot. That's where we can output fluids into tanks, and this one produces multiple fluids. If you know anything about oil, we're going to input our uh, crude oil right here on this blue dot. Let's grab our creative accumulator, which cannot be crafted. I have to repeat this a lot. This is not a survival item. Um, <laughs> another, another little cool thing about this that I noticed you can actually use these ladders. That's that's a, a nice touch. Nice touch. Whoever made this mod, uh, I didn't actually look at it. Good job. But anyways, uh, now that we've done that, let's grab ourselves a pipe and actually put some crude oil in here. <coughs> the never-ending cough that I have after I got sick. So if we look inside, we can actually bucket uh, crude oil in here through this slot and take our buckets out here. We're getting it filled up a little bit. I wanted it to have a little bit of a reservoir before we get the machine going. We can also bucket out the fluids, and it takes the fluid that's at the bottom first. Just keep that in mind. And I believe it'll only bucket it out if it has 1,000 millibuckets, but um, that's how buckets work, right? So if you throw your bucket in here, it's only going to take a bucket if it has 1,000. And... and yeah, I think that's enough. Let's turn this thing on and uh, show you how it works. So as you can see, the little heater turns on. It's kind of cooking the oil, I guess you could say. Really cool tower. I kind of wish it had like a particle effect, maybe. I don't know if towers really do that, but I feel like it should. Oh, wow, that works super fast. Okay, so when this tower works, it's going to break down the crude oil that you pump in here into lubricant, uh, sulfurized diesel, kerosene, and naphtha. Uh, never heard of naphtha, but uh, I should mention that this tower has multiple uh, uses. So 
if you do go from crude oil into these specific items, these four products or byproducts of oil can actually be broken down even further. So if you build more of these towers and send these fluids into those towers, it'll break them down into even more different products that can be used in different things. So I'll let you guys play around with that. There's so many different things that they can do. And uh, we might go into those if we actually go over those products, specific products like going into gasoline and making diesel fuel and that I'll do videos on those. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the distillation tower. Uh, if you found this helpful, like, comment, subscribe.